Hey guys, I am Tello, and today I'm going to be talking about one of my most favorite utilities, the Rocket Boots. Well, actually it's my favorite utility outside of Kits, and I'm just going to explain a few things about that utility. So, first of all, I'm going to show you this, guys. Look at this. Mm. That's the reason why I love it so much. I mean, you can jump super far with it, and there's a thing that not everyone knows about Rocket Boots. It scales with the current speed that you have. So I'm going to explain that to you by um, just using it without swiftness right now, and you will see that I'm not going to jump nearly as far. So look at this. You see this? Okay, I jumped from here, and... I just didn't make that huge distance like I did before when I used my um, super speed from Slick Shoes. So the super speed increases your double, uh, your run speed by double, and swiftness increases it by 33%. So if I use it with swiftness now, you can see that I'm going to jump a little bit further. And obviously, if I use super speed, I'm going to jump super far, and that's really useful. <laughs> Especially in the Obsidian Sanctum and in World v. World in general, um, it's just amazing. The rocket boots just remove all the um, immobilizers, cripples and chills from you and they launch you really far. And you can do quite a few really cool things with it. For example, you can jump over there if you have swiftness and then um, you could wait until it's back up. Or you can just use your um, elixir gun here to make this small <laughs> jump there. And that's just a tiny shortcut here in the Obsidian Sanctum, but there are other things as well. There's a trick that you can jump from here on a space over there and then you can just jump over the wall. Never but I'm not going to try that right now because I've only managed to do it once and it's really hard. Warriors can do the same thing with the leap and I feel like with Rocket Boots a little bit harder. But um, just just look at it, it's so useful. I, I mean imagine if you're... Um, well. Just imagine if you're PvPing here. I screwed that up, kind of. But um, imagine if you're PvPing here. You can just easily escape your enemies by jumping away. And of course, you don't always need to jump over some cliff or something like that. It's useful all the time. It only has 20 seconds cooldown, so it's basically a Ride the Lightning. Yeah, it it has a shorter cooldown than Ride the, li the Lightning, if I remember it right. And it's just super useful, especially in World 2 World. Um, you can also use it in SPP pretty effectively by um, just using it to decap all the time and just have higher mobility than your enemies and use that to your advantage. Um, but it's not just that, you also have the Rocket Kick. And the Rocket Kick is just really useful. It's a six and a half seconds burn on just 18 seconds cooldown. Burns deal a lot of damage and most engineer engineers use condi bills. So that's a lot of damage that you can use there. And I think rocket boots are definitely worth it. Like Never it's one of the better. utilities that I would take over a kit. And there aren't many because ticks, kits just have such a huge advantage because you have so many more abilities on it and all those abilities on kits combined usually are better than just one um, one single utility on an engineer, but rocket boots are so unique and so useful, no kit can do something like that, and I think that's why I really love rocket boots. It's super fun to use, and there are a few other tricks that you can do with it. It's a blast finisher, so you can just lay down a smoke field, and you can use it to just use a blast finisher, and um, in case you didn't notice there, so when you use the rocket boots, um, you will trigger the blast finisher um, right away. I mean, it will say combo finisher there, but the combo will work where you land. So if I lay down a smoke field here, and if I use my rocket boots, I jump here, and then I stealth where I land. And since it's a blast finisher, it's an AoE stealth. So you can just use this to save people in PvP. You can just um, lay down a smoke field on max range, and then you can... Um, jump. Oh, damn. I screwed that up. Oh, okay. I still Never made it. <laughs> you can lay down a smoke field on max range and then you can just jump from the smoke field um, with the rocket boots to your ally and you stealth them. And it's really safe. I mean, yeah. enemies won't kill you mid-air out of nowhere, you know? And it can save a lot of lives in both World v. World and um, also in 
well, uh, in SPVP. And yeah, you can not just use it with smoke field, you can also use it with a water field to heal allies and that kind of stuff. So yeah, rocket boots are amazing. And as you saw, I just um, a little bit earlier, I just jumped a really far distance with my slick shoes super speed again. And it's just amazing. Like, look at this here. You can also save some time here. Just jumping over there and... Oh yeah, that's something that I need to explain you as well. Um, when you equip a kit um, and you use this button, the drop bundle button, you can cancel most animations, especially from leaps. So if I use rocket boots normally, I would just jump and I can't do anything to stop it. But if I'm on my bomb kit and use the rocket boots, I can just here, you see? I didn't even do the roll. I can just cancel it wherever I want. So that can be really useful if you want to do some precise jumps. If you want to jump from one part to another in a jumping puzzle, you can just cancel it and it's going to be really useful. And yeah, that's overall it. Rocket boots are amazing and I really love them. It's my <laughs> by far my favorite utility outside of kits. Obviously some of the kits I l just love more because, well, kits are amazing and I love engineer. but. Yeah, if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask it in the comments. And if you want to leave some feedback, please let me know. This is a new series that I started here. I am going to upload a video every day about something useful or something entertaining. <laughs> and yeah, just let me know how you liked it. Give me, give me some feedback and see you guys tomorrow.